In a meeting in February 2022, the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India decided that it will propose the Health Star Rating System when it prepares its draft regulations for a front-of-package labelling system. This rating is purported to inform consumers whether a packaged food product is healthy or not. What it does is give food products stars based on their nutrition profile with the healthiest being able to take home five stars. The unhealthiest will get half a star. This is FSSAI's version of what is known as front of pack labeling or FOPL and is supposed to help consumers make an informed choice on what they are eating. But will this really help consumers? Is this the right way to label packets? Let us first understand what FOPL is all about. As the name suggests, Front of the Back Labeling or FOPL is an easy to understand nutritional information system which tells whether a particular packaged food is high in sugar, salt and fat. It basically uses illustrative images or symbols so that the consumers can easily understand whether the food products they are consuming have high amounts of ingredients which are bad for health. Currently, what is practiced in India and most other countries is nutrition information labeling, which is on the back of food packets. This is presented in a tabular form which is only in English and is often very difficult to understand. The current form of labeling, which is known as nutrition information labeling, is very number centric. It is very difficult to see, difficult to understand. One needs math, one needs cognitive skills, and it is only in English. I would go to an, ex go to an extent to say it is a carefully crafted strategy of the industry to keep consumers confused, confused about all this through this kind of labeling. And it was realized many years ago in different parts of the world that we need a form of labeling which is very upfront. Uh, consumers do not spend much time to see uh, labels and they need to be informed very quickly so that the decision, the information on the right kind of nutrients a product has helps in informed decision making so that ultimately they are nudged towards better food habits. Studies have shown that consumers seldom spend more than a few seconds reading nutrition labels. Therefore, the world over, there is a push towards easily understandable FOPL labels that quickly informs a person what is healthy versus what is unhealthy. Till mid-2022, 15 countries have mandatory FOPL, while the policy has been formulated and announced in 17 other countries. FSSAI's decision to implement Health Star Rating comes out of an IIM Ahmedabad study. However, nutrition experts and civil society organizations campaigning for good food are unhappy about FSSAI's plan to introduce the Health Star Rating. Under this new labeling regime, an algorithm will decide on how many stars a food product will get, depending on the ingredients. A food product containing positive components like fruits, nuts, fiber, legumes, etc. will be given a higher number of stars than a product containing just sugars, fats and sodium, which is a part of salt. But here is the big problem. While a food product may have high amounts of negative ingredients, adding one or two positive components will not make it any healthier, but will get a higher number of stars. For example, most biscuits sold in India have three major components, refined flour or maida, sugar and palm oil. Ideally, these biscuits must not get a single star because they can cause diabetes and heart diseases. But what if some nuts like cashews or almonds are added to these biscuits? The number of stars may go up because nuts are positive ingredients and consumers may identify them as a healthier option, even though they are equally bad. Similar examples may be found with pulp or fibre added to fruit juices and nuts and seeds added to confectionery. The whole point about informing the consumer about high salt, sugar or fat is completely missing from FSSAI's new labelling plan. 
there's this misleading label now which is being pushed by the regulator and it is misleading by design uh, because of health the word health on on so called very unhealthy food the presence of stars for example which otherwise are aspirational but have no meaning on a commodity like food another major issue is that it can be manipulated and it's also misleading because it includes the positive nutrients i mean as they say proteins fiber uh fruits vegetable and nuts the presence of of these in junk food will also now be considered as part of the calculation to be allocated to be actually given a star and that's where the key problem is but most importantly this will actually glorify or legalize uh bad food to be sold as good food the overall purpose for example was to pe- to take people away from junk food but now people will still be within the within the realms of junk consuming junk food because if they will opt for a three star food instead of a two and a half star food that doesn't mean that the food is healthy the food still remains unhealthy so what are the best examples of front of pack labeling that india could have adopted the two best examples come from chile and israel chile shows the dangers of these unhealthy ingredients in black octagonal boxes high in trans fats high in sugar high in salts and high in calories similarly israel has these illustrative graphics these warning signs clearly warn consumers to stay away from these foods containing high fat sodium or salt and sugar similarly canada too is preparing to add sugar sodium and saturated fats warning in the front of their food packets only australia and new zealand are the two countries which use the health star labels but even in these two countries The labeling requirement is voluntary in nature. This has led to an overwhelming majority of food companies choosing to not put the labels on their food packets. There are also other reasons for India to junk the health star rating in favor of symbol or picture based FOPL. Foremost is the fact that nutritional labeling on the back of packets is in English, whereas there are 22 recognized languages in India. Symbols and pictures become a universal way of communicating to most of the population. The other reason is that FSSAI already uses symbols on food packets like the colored dots to differentiate between vegetarian and non-vegetarian products, the green tick for organic or jaivik food and the F with a plus for fortified foods. What was needed here was if I, if I am hypertensive and I want I want to avoid a food which has more salt I should I should be able to choose based on the information and provided to me on the back of the food but now with these stars I will never be able to know whether this 2 star or 3 star or 4 star is because of less salt or less sugar or or because of uh, something else FSSI in particular has had a very very successful uh, campaign on 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 this logo which tells people about vegetarian and non vegetarian food that green dot in a green square brown dot in a brown square we all know that's been most successful and that one of the reason is that it's a symbol based logo on front of the pack if this was not the case and you would have just written vegetarian or contains no egg meat at at the nutrition label at the back of pack in, in a very small font we all know it would not have been very successful It was in 2013 when for the first time a committee set up by the FSSAI advocated front of pack labeling but 10 years on after numerous committees and recommendations the FSSAI has still not been able to come up with a proper safety warning for junk foods in India in the meantime lifestyle diseases are slowly taking the form of an epidemic especially among children and young adults at least 21 civil society organizations including the Center for Science and Environment, Consumer Voice, Cuts International, the Indian Academy of Pediatrics and the Public Health Foundation of India has written to the FSSAI opposing this labeling regime. But is FSSAI listening? If they go ahead with this labeling regime, it will be like selling the health of the country to the food industry.